Hello, hello, this is Misty. This is Misty, yes. Let's get right in it. So today's energy, it, the day's energies are, they threw salt on your name, collaborated against you. Now watch, yes watch, their tower fall. That is the energies. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today in the energy of knowing. We would like to know about these towers and how they're falling. Where they're falling because one is in the energy where they're with one. That's in the energy of Queen of Swords. And it's in reverse. And when a woman is in the Queen of Swords energy, she's in an emotionally unbalanced energy this woman is very aggressive she likes to argue she likes to argue she likes to fight she likes to live that dysfunctional life what is these other energies yes this one is in the energy of ten of swords in reverse they are building bond bonds of bs Stable relationships are not around them. What's around them is confusion, bondage, strife. They are in an energy where they are in adversity. They are receiving their karma in this Ten of Cups energy in reverse. And the next energy that came out is death. This represents death to BS, death to anything that does not deserve divine feminine. She's in an energy where she's starting over. She's in an energy of tolerance. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today because we would like to know about these energies of these people that threw salt on divine feminist name and collaborated with others. We would like to know what is going down in Comic Town and why are their towers falling? Okay. So we start this thing off with everyone is talking about their bad decisions. And I'm using my karmic confessions, mystic mohawk, oracle cards. So the first card that wanted to come out is everyone is talking about their bad decisions. Everyone is talking about them being with one that has mental health concerns. Not only are they talking about the mental health concerns, they're talking about the drug addictions. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's down going down in Comic Town? We would like to know how our towers falling. Towers are falling because people are receiving ancestral curses. They're constantly fussing. They're constantly fighting because they are in an energy of love on the brain. Dreaming, fantasizing, daydreaming, nostalgia about the past lover. They still want to be in the energy of a love affair, a one night stand, the heat of the moment energy with their past lover. Yeah. They are in the energy of watching the tower fall because they are in an X-Factor kind of energy. They are in the energy of, of needing to X people out of their life because they are toxic. They are constantly in the energy with a bra that's a copycat and want to consistently want to be like their ex. Meanwhile, the ex is over there living their le their best life, living their healed life. They're grown up. This is the card of glow up. This is the card of major transformation. Doing the work, putting the work in, having a makeover, a change, a new way of thinking, a new appearance to oneself. So this is the energy of Divine Feminine. She's in that glow up kind of, of energy. 
and the person that they're with, they're constantly, they're in an energy where they know they have a mattress back. One is constantly in an energy of betrayal. They think that divine masculine is a simp. They are constantly in the energy where now divine masculine is being confronted and being in that third party energy. This female that they're with is always fussing, always fighting in an energy where she's in that, oh, get a room kind of a energy. This one that they are with is a happiness hater. Mm. So, Holy Spirit, we would like to know whom happiness is these people hating on? We would like to know, Holy Spirit, yes, they are hating divine feminine because she's in an energy where she is making strong relationships with money, building her brand, starting a new aligning with herself and if one wanted to know these is my mystic mohawk addressing her crown calls yes they're also in the energy where divine feminine is in the energy where yeah she caught many people minding her business and these are the toxic people her people her people mystic mohawk calls yeah She's in the energy where she's saying, please do not show me no fake love straight up to my face. And then want to always blame it on your childhood traumas. This is what you do, divine masculine. You are that emotional cheater that have inner childhood wounds. One needs to go seek therapy with their childhood wounds. Now let's get to this tower falling. This tower is falling because they threw salt on your name and divine masculine picked a female that he thought was better than you, but she turned out to be his worst nightmare. She's always in the energy where she's switching up on divine masculine. However, divine feminine is in the energy where she's high key. And high key means something needs to be said. Putting them efforts in their place. Standing out in the open. But saying or doing the obvious. Letting everybody know in this high key energy. You can't and you won't silence me, says divine feminine. All I want you to do is maintain your distance. Stay away from me. Staring in my face. Trying to take my place. Hater, you should wish me love. It really ain't my fault that I'm a fucking boss. I play it all cause. Hater, you should wish me love. Yes, let's get into this denial. They want to silence Divine Feminine and shut her up. And if one wanted to know, this is your get out of your head call by Mystic Moho. She said, I do not care about you. Please maintain your distance. They're in an energy where they see you over there shining. They see you over there glowing up. And they're in that FOMO energy. Yeah, that fear of missing out on something. Yes. They're in an energy where their fear of striking, they're dragging, they're having relationship struggles. They feel like, again, they're missing out on something. They're heavenly emotional and heavenly sad in this dragging like energy. Yes. However, that comic over there is highly, highly divine masculine and it's highly in denial. Because he's now finding out that one is not appearing all whom they said they would be. Meanwhile, Divine Feminine is over here living her best life, doing that retail therapy over there. She's in an energy of conquering. Yes. She's in an energy where she's training herself not to deal with BS. 
And she says, speaking of BS, I know that you're still looking me up. Not only are you still looking me up, you over there tag teaming the hate. This is the friends over there helping out tag team the from the hate from the gate because they're over there feeling defeated because you're over there winning. You're in an energy of don't sing it, ho. You better bring it, ho. You, I'm the bitchy, the bitchy, bitchy, the bitchy, bitchy. You love to hate. You thought you was going over there to something nice. You was going to get that ring. Y'all was going to be cool, calm, and collective over there in the karmic community. Hmm. That karma bus done pulled up for y'all and y'all in the energy of you're fired. Or someone is in the energy where they may have or it's getting ready to lose their job for the bullshit that they do. Meanwhile, Divine Feminine is in an energy where she's still doing her. Yeah, they want to talk about her now. Say she high maintenance doing these things. She just over there with her new boo, Netflixing and chilling. She's over there doing her job and stocking up on those dollars. Meanwhile, Divine Masculine is still in an energy where he fake flexing. And Divine Feminine is saying, this is why your ass got blocked. Because you want nothing but a cock blocker. And you in denial that I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with your third party seeking, entangement, web weaving, putting me in Divine Masculine food, Blues. Then on top of Divine Masculine Blues, you want to act like Ike and bank crank people upside their head. This is the eat the cake anime. He got some Ike up in him. And the next card that comes out after that is Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine is still up in the energy now where he's in unrequited love, one-sided love. That same way that he treated you, darling dear, it's coming back on him. Those bad motives that he had for you, he's now getting that fake love straight up to his face. Yeah, he's getting that freak in the sheets and whore on the floor. This is the mattress back car. This is what he got. Mm-hmm. He got one that's desperate to come back over you, over there to you, baby girl. Over oh, love. Divine feminine, big money over love. You need to stop it, need to give it up. Your bullshit ain't working. It is weak as fuck. Weak as fuck. Weak as fuck. Hold up. They tried to put you in entanglements. They said, I'm done, I'm done, I'm sick of that shit. Yes, this is the energies that they in. This person is still online, darling dear, looking you up, trying to figure out what's going on with you. They are in a desperate energy. Because that bra that they deal with don't got the cash that they got. And they over there having car troubles, baby girl. And that comic that they over there with ain't got no cash to help them out, darling, dear. She too busy calling the MF and police on Divine Masculine because they gets in fights and arguments all the time. Yeah. And when Divine Masculine shit don't go his way, he want to say, I'm as molested as a child. I'm, I have inner childhood wounds. Yeah. These are all lies, lies, lies that Divine Masculine used so that he could get people on his side. Yes, this one has mental health concerns also. This one is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and needs to go see a doctor also. Yes, something is wrong with Divine Masculine. Yes, he's irresponsible. <laughs> Spiritual belch. Excuse me. He's irresponsible. What else is he holy divine? Mm. Get out of denial. You are fucked up. You are generationally fucked up, says divine feminine. Get out 
of your feelings, you are generationally fucked up. You tell half truths. This is why shit happened to you because you sit there and you tell lies and half truths. You only tell half of the story, divine masculine. This is why things don't work for you and people don't want to help you because you lie. You constantly stay in the energy ass. Don't you feel like a dumb ass? You did all that entanglement. And sneaking and grinning on your partner. And now you want them back? Says Divine Feminine. This bitch put a spell on me. I can't have sex with no one. That's what you get, Divine Masculine. That's the energy that he's in. He's in the energy of sneak, stop sneak dissing. Trying to be, trying, trying to what? Wound a bitch with words. Says Divine Feminine, stop trying to sneak this. Stop trying to wound a bitch with a word because you're not winning. Says Divine Feminine, mm. Divine Masculine, still in that energy of telling people, that's my home girl. Mm -hmm. And call me, you need to stop leaving them kids. Ooh. Call me. I'm going to need you to stop that now. You're doing a little bit too much partying. This call comes out there. Call me. Divine Masculine is upset with the comment because this call is she leave me with the kids for days and do not come home. Their relationship is falling apart. Mm. However, it's always arguments about this comic doing things. Divine Masculine is saying she give it from her mama, that Jezebel spirit. I was told that mama was a street walker too. I'm just saying, yeah. Divine Feminine saying, yeah, I know you are a shady, envious bitch. I know you are a spiritual hater, bitch. Says Divine Feminine. I know you are a spiritual hater bitch. That's all FBI, ABC. We are looking for blues clues always up in my business. But I don't have no skeletons like you. I'm not a betrayer bitch. I'm an upfront bitch. I'm going to let you know. I'm not sneaking and grinning behind nobody like you were. You knew all about me, and yet and still, you chose Divine Masculine. And Divine Masculine, you ain't off the hook either. You knew that that shit was wrong, but because you was thinking with your dangling and not with your head, you thought that comic was better than me. But now that you need me, you on block. I don't want to be bothered. Continue and stay over there with that insatiable bra that don't want nobody to know anything to keep them eyes closed, but I know everything. Yes, this one wants to tap in my energy and want to be me and want to copycat me. This is the tapping energy is called. Yeah, she want to tap into my energy. She want to tap into my money because she see me over there getting passive uh, lines of flowing income streams. This karmic wants to mess with your money, divine feminine, because they over there having family issues. They want to keep your name in their mouth with the gutter mouth gossip because they over there on Struggle Street. That struggle bus done came over there and pulled up to both of their bumpers. This is why that tower is falling. This is why Divine Masculine is always on your social media plotting against you, trying to figure out what's going on with you, baby girl. Because that tower is falling. All of that salt they threw on your name, all of collaborating with others to watch it, hmm. Your tower fall, hmm. Our divine has something for them. Our ancestors had something for them. Now they're in love triangles. Now they're doing spell work. And they're still all up in their head about their past lover. They're all up in their head because divine feminine is receiving abundance. 
they're all up in their head because divine feminine cancel that ass. They're all up in their feelings because divine feminine took a self-reflection and said, I'm better than this. This is not for me, sis. I'm in an energy where I'm going to regrow from this situation. Now you deal with your tower falling. Now you're in a regretful kind of energy. Because you picked a bra that has bad traits. You picked a bra that's in an energy with played out childish kind of behaviors. You picked a bra that has sneaky, narcissistic tendencies. However, she still is an impersonator bitch that want to be like the last bitch. She's still in the energy where she think, don't nobody know about this magic. I don't understand why you figure don't nobody know about this magic, darling. We all know you're a Dollar Tree maker. Designer clothes faker, a pill popper twerker, no job, her ass don't work her. You always want to put somebody in these uh mattress back doing magic kind of blues. But how is this magic going to work when you're buying it from the Dollar Tree? You ain't even buy it from the Dollar Store or the Dollar General. You bought it from the dollar store, okay? Honey, you have to invest into your magic, sweetie. You can't go to the dollar store and expect results from it, darling, dear. So she's in the energy where, baby, they still, it's your power that they want. They still want to tap into your energies, divine feminine. This one here is doing the most. She don't like you, but she want to be like you, tap into your energies and be you. Because you're going through a transformation. You're going through success and breakthrough. You're standing in your power. And this one, this sneaky bitch, still want to be like you because her relationship is toxic. And he still want to be with you because he got a toxic bitch. He got a liar and a cheater, a cheater by the feeder. They put him in the mattress black boots, yeah. But that's what he get. This is the female that he picked. The one that runs her mouth and always has something ignorant to say out of it. This one is in the energy where she runs her mouth and do not have facts to back it up. This one is the one that's tormented vengeful and hurt because he picked up comic bra this is why he's angry at his own past because his tower is falling his tower is falling because he's stubborn and a little cray cray yes this is the person stubborn personality disorder and this one wants to say their sorries again Fuck your sorries. You're a habitual line stepper. We don't trust your sorries. We don't trust your sorries for as far as we can throw you. Your sorries ain't got no worth to me. They ain't got a pot to piss in or a window to throw them out of. So why would you give me your sorries? Sweetheart, we know about your skeletons. Fuck your sorries. We know you are a dick dealer that cannot communicate. Fuck your sorrows. The only reason why you want to come back over here is because of manifestings. And again, fuck your sorrows. We is all too busy over here preparing for our New Year's to stunt on you hoes and watch the many faces of fuckery while your tower falls. If you like my vibe, like, share, and subscribe. That's why they wanted to throw salt on your name and collaborate with others. But watch their tower fall.